Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you have last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi to all my smiling faces here. All my talented bunch of people are ready here waiting for the class to begin. So, we just played the submission process. In case you have joined in late, there is no need to worry because the same video will be shared towards the end of this class. So, there is nothing to worry about. It is just the submission process that we play at the beginning and at the end of every class. So that you are not stuck at any point while making your submission. Alright. So don't worry if you have missed it. The same would be played at the end of the class. Make sure that you pay careful attention at that point as well. All right. So how have you been doing? How are you all doing? Are you all enjoying the hobby classes on YOLO? Yes. I see some smiling faces. But yes, ma'am, we're really enjoying the classes. And we're really looking forward to this new class as well. So I'm just waiting for a few minutes for all your friends to join in as well. And then we'll just quickly get the class started. Okay. So we'll just quickly get the class started once your friends have joined in as well. So until the time they join in, let's see what do we have in this course. So talking about the whole course. This is the first class of this course. Talking about this whole course, it is called as Feasting in the Incredible India. What is feasting? Feasting is nothing but having a lavish cuisine, having a lavish lunch, dinner, breakfast, having something to eat, something you crave for. So feasting in the incredible India. And the most, most amazing fact of this course is that with every new class, they are going to visit different places of India. They are going to travel all around our country. They are going to take a virtual tour to all the parts of the country as far as possible. And we will see what we can bring on to paper with our paints and brushes. Okay, so that is the course. And every new class is going to be a new learning and something really, really exciting awaits you in every new class. So make sure that you're not missing on to any of these classes because this course is going to be really, really exciting for you all because there's be, there are going to be lots of learnings, there's going to be a virtual tour to our incredible India, there's going to be something that we bring.
thing on the paper there's something that we're going to learn about food yes don't we love food we all love to eat we all love good food and that's what drive us sometimes so i have all of these amazing things here in one simple course just for you so that you can also travel you can have a virtual tour and you can also eat take some to on the paper and at the same time learn something about it okay so now i see a good number of people joining in and i want a big beautiful smile from all of you come on give me a big beautiful smile i see some of you are giving me a big nice bright smile that yes ma'am you are ready for the class to begin all right i see few smiling faces i see sneha giving me a big smile i see raj giving me a big smile come on everybody gives me a big smile awesome so today is going to be our first virtual tour to a part of our country a part of our incredible india and the first hint that i'm going to give you is now about what place are we going okay so carefully listen what am i saying to you and from that i'm sure you will be able to guess about the place we are visiting today okay so i'm going to speak something now and i want you to guess about where are we going today to have a feast we are going to have a lavish feast at this particular state today and i'm going to speak something about it to give you a hint okay so here we go namaskar vidyarthi mitrano kasha hai sumi Yes, did you hear me? You want me to repeat it? So here we go. Namaskar, Vidyarthi Mitrano. Kasha hai sumi. Okay, what language is this? Come on, quickly. What language was I speaking? All right, I see some of them saying Marathi. That's the correct answer. And the state which has its prominence in Marathi language is come on, quickly. Which state has the prominent language as marathi come on quickly giving you 5 seconds type in your answers in the chat section come on quickly so which state has this language as its prominent language come on yes that's the vernacular language marathi of the state maharashtra and today we are all going to take off to maharashtra We are all going to take off to Maharashtra. That was the first hint that I gave. Now, and it's time to begin the class now because we have something fun and exciting to bring on to paper. So we are also going to take a virtual tour. We are also going to bring something on paper. We are also going to make some art. All right. So I'm going to quickly share the screen now. Give me a thumbs up quickly till the time I share my screen. That you are ready with your art materials and you're all excited to take a virtual tour to Maharashtra. Yes. Give me a thumbs up quickly. Awesome. So I see some thumbs up coming in quickly. Last five seconds for y'all to give me a thumbs up. That yes, ma'am, we are ready to take off to Maharashtra. Yes, are we ready to take off to Maharashtra? Happy fast in our seat belt. Yes. Come on. Very good. That's the spirit. I see a lot of many thumbs up coming in, and it's time to start with our art activity now. Okay. So by the time we are also creating something onto paper, I keep telling you some interesting facts about it, about the state, and something really, really interesting for all of you. Okay. So first, just focusing on our art part, we are going to create something onto paper. So first, let us all discuss about the art materials that we need in today's class. Okay. So let's get started. The first basic art material that we need is a sheet of paper this is an a5 size sheet of paper in case you have a size which is smaller than a5 that's fine as well you can just make your illustration a little smaller in case you're not having a white sheet of paper you can also use any other colored sheet in case you're not having these as well you can also use a sheet from your notebook Okay, so just for the first time when you're creating something along with me, it's fine if you also use a sheet from notebook. If you don't have a white sheet of paper or a drawing sheet, and for those who are using an A size paper, you can just cut it into half and use the half part of it, which is an A five size. 
that is the first basic art material that we need that's an a5 size drawing sheet second we need a pencil so i have a pencil here which is nicely sharpened so the pencil is essential for drawing the rough sketch creating the rough sketch so the second material was pencil the third over here is paint brush so i have a round brush in size 3 over here you can use any number any size of brush that's available in case you don't have a round brush you can also use a flat brush that's fine i am using brush over here because i would be using paint in case you're not using paints in case you're using crayons in case you're using color pencils oil pastels any of these medium then you all can skip the uh, brush and water container okay the next material that we need the fourth is this water container because as i said we will be using paints in today's class so i'm having a water container as well this is the last material here is the watercolor cakes so these are the watercolor cakes that i'm going to use these are from camel these are watercolor cakes and i'm going to use these in today's class if you don't have watercolors colors you can also use uh, dry mediums like the crayons oil pastels color pencils whatever you are comfortable with but for all those who are having more colors available at your place it would be great if you could use those because we would be also learning a little bit about the watercolor applications as well okay so that is all the art materials the basic art materials that we need for the class to begin and also for ju just diving into the fun activity all right so let us get started now so what we're creating today is a really really popular dish a snack of maharashtra to give you a little more hint it is a snack which is predominantly Mumbai. Okay, so Mumbai is a city in the state of Maharashtra, and we are going to create a snack, a very famous snack, which is found in the state of Maharashtra, and in particular, it is found a lot uh, in Mumbai. Okay, so I see some guesses coming in, so that's great. We are creating that particular snack. So as and when I begin with the rough sketch, you all can draw along with me as well. Okay, so let us get started. First, we are going to use the pencil to create the rough sketch, as I said. So, carefully observe at the screen while I'm creating the rough sketch. Alright, so I start from a little left part of the sheet. And I just create a rough line something like this so i'm going to move my cursor along the area to just highlight the area where i have drawn this line so this is just like a slant line and then another tiny line at the bottom okay then we create a curve at the top portion of this line that was the first line. Now that's another curve that we are creating here. Alright. Then we just extend this curve. And then we give these two strokes over here. So you need not exactly have the similar lines in terms of size. This is just a rough. So it may not be exactly the same. Once done with the curve, I'm just going to extend this line till the end. All right, I'm going to quickly repeat it for you. Let's begin from the start. I'm going to be creating a line with a slightly diagonal. Then I extend it with the help of a curved line. Now, just in the inner portion, I'm creating these tiny strokes, just rough ones. The next, I just extend the curve line till the first 
slant line that we have drawn. All right. So I hope all of you all have followed it up till here. Once done, we are going to now move forward. And now we are going to give a slight circular portion in the middle. So there are too many guesses coming in the chat section about the dish already. And yes, you guys are right. We are drawing the snack vada pav. Okay, so don't worry about in case you're not um, aware about what a vada pav is. You don't know what how is it made. I'll be sharing all of that once we are done with the rough sketch. But first, let's focus on the drawing aspect. Let's first create a rough sketch. So we are going to create this circle in between. So that is what I have created up till now. Then from one portion, I'm going to again create a slant line and then just draw a base line over here. So over here, if you see, there's nothing that I've created uh, in a perfect way. All of these are just light strokes that I've created with pencil. So that is what I've created up till now. All right. Awesome. Now once done, we're just going to create a dish around it, a plate around it. So that we can make it look like the snack, this particular snack, vada pav, is in a plate. It is served in a plate. So we are just creating this oval shape, which is like the plate. Make sure that you have enough gap at this particular area between the vada pav and the plate. Now, just inside this plate, we are going to add some green chilies so i'm just drawing some green chilies here so here is one of the green chilies i'm going to quickly repeat it for you all so let's start we start by drawing a curved line and then we join it at the other end something like this then just giving a tiny circle and a stem to it as well Drawing the same green chili on the other side and topping it with a stem. All right. So I'm just done with the snack. I'm just done with creating a rough sketch. And it's now time to dive in to the colors, the watercolors, the crayons, whatever you're using. I'm going to use these watercolors. In case you're using crayons, you all can just follow the follow the same color scheme as well okay so that is all that we need to do now just to fill in some colors and details to this beautiful snack this yummy tummy snack in this class so i'm just taking my watercolors and my water container here all right so i'm going to fill colors in this rough sketch of vada pav Let us get started. I'm going to first add water and activate the brown paint, the brown watercolor. I'm using the brown shade over here. I'm adding water to activate the paint and then carefully observe where do I begin. I start from the top portion. And the area where I'm currently painting, I'm adding this brown color, is called as the pav. So it is nothing like a, but like a bun bread. But I'm not going to add color to the entire bun, just the top portion. So these two strokes that we have created, just within that area first. All right. So I've just added the brown paint, the brown color at this this particular area where we are uh, actually painting, the brown color where we are painted is nothing but the pav. It is a pav. It is like a bun bread. It is nothing but a bun bread, but it is called as a pav. When 
Maharashtra, you cannot miss Vada Pav. Okay. Now I'm moving on to the next color, which is uh, a yellow ochre color. It is a yellow ochre color. In case you're not having yellow ochre, you can simply use yellow color as well. Okay. So I'm going ahead with a yellow ochre. And just adding the paint to the lower half now. The lower half of the path, that is the bunny red. All right, so just adding color to the lower portion now. Okay. So just adding color to the bun bread the pav over here. So make sure that you're not adding any colors inside the circular oval part up till now. That is nothing but the vada. Okay, so we have already painted the pav now. We have painted the brown at the top portion of the pav and the base of it is a shade of yellow ochre. In case you don't have a yellow ochre shade, as I said, you can also use a yellow color. Okay, now next, let's move to the vada of this flag. So the palm is red. It's time to add colors to the vada now. Okay. So, just adding a little details over here at the baseline, just below the vada, where it meets just to create a shadow effect. So just added a little tinge of brown here. Let's move to the vada now. So I'm using an orange color now for the vada. In case you're not having an orange shade, you can simply use the same uh, yellow that you have used for the pow. I'm using a orange shade over here to add color to the vada. Okay, so I'll add color to the vada now. So the center portion where I'm actually adding this orange shade is nothing but the vada. I'll tell you about the recipe and how is it made just after we complete this illustration. But just for now, understand the concept that this particular thing is a vada pav. This is a snack. It is a vada pav. The top portion is nothing but the pav. It is nothing like but like a bun bread. And the orange part, the circular part that you see here is nothing but the vada. The vada is placed between the pav. The pav is given a slight cut, a slight slit in between. And the vada is placed inside the pav. That is how the snack is uh, eaten. But now we are just going to go ahead and add some tiny details. So once start with the orange vada, we are just going to take a little bit of brown and we are going to add some tiny details in between the vada. So just dab your brushes in between this area just to create a realistic look. So wherever you want to create some little more highlights, you can just go ahead and add a little bit of more uh, strokes with the paint itself. So I'm just done with the varapa now. But if you see, we also have made these green chilies in the plate. So we are going to quickly go ahead and add color to this chili. We are going to simply add a shade of green. Any shade of green that is available with you, you can just fill in with uh, that shade itself. So I'm using a green shade over here to paint the chilies. So in case you're wondering that why have I drawn these chilies here, it is because this dish is most eaten with these fried chilies. So these green chilies are actually fried first and it is just the best combination to have with a vada pav. 
to the snack, the vada pav, as its best combination with green chili. And there's something more uh, with the combination thing, which I'll tell you later. I'm just so excited to share so many things about this particular dish, share so many things about Maharashtra with you that I just cannot wait. But first, let us just quickly complete the illustration and then we'll see what all information is there with us. Okay. So now I'm just done with uh, adding colors to the vada pav and the green chili. Let's quickly add color to the plate. Any color that you like is fine. But I'm going to use a shade of blue to just quickly add color to the plate, the dish on which it is served. So this has nothing to do with um, the state. It is not really served in a blue dish, but we're just creating uh, a piece of art, and that's the reason we are adding a dish over here. So I'm adding a blue plate over here. All right. Between the time, all of us are adding color to the plate, the dish. Let me quickly tell you something. So till the time you're carefully, uh, you know, you're just uh, painting the dish, just carefully listen to what I say. So this particular dish, the snack that we have drawn here, we have illustrated here, is a snack of Maharashtra and predominantly of Mumbai. As I said, Mumbai is a, is a city of Maharashtra. So Mumbai is in the state of Maharashtra. And this dish is called as a vada pav. This dish is the best in combination with these green chilies, which are fried. And it is also one of the most beautiful combinations with a cup of tea. Okay, so here at Mumbai, we all have these vada pavs with tea, with chai. And uh, let me quickly tell you about how this vada pav is made. Okay, so the top portion that you see over here is nothing but the pav, as I said. Pav is nothing but just like a regular bread or regular bun bread. So that is what is the first part of this snack, which is the pav. The center portion, the orange portion that we have created here, is nothing but the vada. Now, the vada is made in such a way that it is. Uh, it has a filling of mashed potato. It has a filling of mashed potatoes. It has green chilies. It has a little bit of onions and some herbs. And then this particular vada is given a coating of basin. It is given a coating of basin. And then it is fried. So it is deep fried. So this vada is then placed between the pav, the pav or the bun is given a slit, it is cut into two halves and then the vada is placed in between and there is also something more that we add here. So inside this pav, we also add some green chutneys, some uh, sweet chutneys, some uh, red chutneys which is made up of garlic and then the entire snack is then uh, folded. It is the, the vada and the power then folded and eaten with the help of the hands itself. And as you see here, it has the best combination with the green chilies. And something more that I said was it has the best combination with Thai. Okay, so here I'm also adding a little more details with the black sketch pen. But carefully listen to me before we go ahead. Just add those details if the paints have dried. For me, the paints have dried over here and hence I'm going ahead with the sketch pen part. But in case your paints haven't dried yet, you need to wait for those paints to dry up before you just uh, before you just add these details with the black sketch pen. But do, do not add these details if the paint hasn't dried. Okay? So, I'm going to add these details. It is nothing but just giving an outline and some details, some tiny strokes. Okay, so just giving an outline. So till the time I'm giving this outline, 
I hope you have understood how this vada pav is made, how is it eaten, how is it combined with the other dishes. But nothing special, just a cup of tea and some green chilies. That is the best combination with two of these. And when you are in Bombay, you cannot miss the famous vada pav. So there would be hardly any area or any locality of Mumbai which would not be having a stall of vada pav or not having a place which is serving vada pav. Vada pav is one of the most most popular dishes of Mumbai. And let's quickly write the name of the dish below here. Let's quickly write the name. So this is a vada pav. So V A D A. That is how it is spelled. So I hope all of your eyes are on the screen and you are carefully having a look at the spelling of it. So it is a vada. The center portion, which is deep fried and has a filling of mashed potatoes, and the pav in which it is placed, it is nothing but the bun bread itself. And this dish is predominantly found. It is the most popular in the city of Mumbai. So let's quickly write Mumbai over here. That Mumbai special vada pav. So I'm writing Mumbai special. So I'm writing the word Mumbai special, and then we have vada pav. Okay, there you go. We have a Mumbai special vada pav ready in front of us, and I'm already craving a lot. It's a mouth-watering dish. It is really, really spicy for all the people who love spicy food, who love uh, eating raw chilies with a knife. This dish is something that you shouldn't miss on to. So this is a vada pav that we created today because we visited Maharashtra and we also understood a little more about this particular dish and. We also learned about the language, which is predominantly used in Maharashtra. It is nothing but the vernacular language. The language which belongs to the state of Maharashtra is Marathi, and these are the two most important things that we have learned in this class. So we just created this beautiful mouth-watering illustration, and that is it for today. you all enjoyed creating this mouth watering snack with me and there's something really really exciting in the next class so make sure that you do not miss on to the next class because we are all going to take off to the next place now so we have already visited maharashtra we are going to visit the northern india in the next class so make sure that you on to it because we all have already booked your tickets to the visit of the incredible india i don't want any of you to miss your flight and i want all of you all to be there in the next class okay so i hope all of you all enjoy this class and you all are going to make your submissions for this class and see you super soon in the next class we are going to take off to a new place okay so see you there bye bye take care Hi everyone we are excited to have you here in today's fun filled learning session at YOLO Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class As a first step go to live.yolo.com You can use any browser to access this site On this page you will see a list of all our classes Scroll down and you can see the submit your work button and Then you will see a list of the classes that you've last attended which could for example show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently next it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number choose your name from this list to submit your work for instance if you are satvik kumar choose that name and then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission 
For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I am eagerly looking forward to all your submissions 